What we really look for are organizations that uh, are doing something special, that are leaders in their field, that are maybe specialized in a particular area, and that have a real opportunity to grow their model and their impact and achieve more. And one of the key things I had learned is that it's local organizations, people who are connected to the communities that they live in, who really have the motivation. Those are the kinds of organizations that, that really bring about change. Uh, through my working with Maliasili, uh, our organization has become a lot more focused, uh, a lot more strategic, and as a result, we see ourselves achieving more uh, with less resources and less time. Everybody that comes here can trust Mali Asili. Um, I, I share so much about our organization, our not just our successes, but I mean, I probably share more about my failures uh, because I know that he, it's not going to go anywhere else. It's going to stay with Mali Asili, and they're going to try to help me work through those things and us as an organization. Um, so I think that is probably one of the most unique things that Mali Asili has. With the involvement of Mali Asili, we've got now a better uh, goal set, better objective set. We have got now better target set and that has really entirely transformed by the way we are working in our organization. The unique thing about Mali Asili is, the, is actually the way they approach things. I like the way they drive you to make decisions and solutions of the problems that you face. They helped us build our team together. That has been one of the key things that Malia Sili has helped us as Honey Guide understand who we are, what we are and what we're going to do. And we will do that. So when I created Malia Sili eight years ago, it was really to champion those organizations, to help them do what they do, but to do it better and on a larger scale and in a more durable, lasting way. 